Hi everyone, Coach Alexa here. I wanted to talk today a little bit about our posture. So we need to have a little bit of a think about how our posture, uh, how we spend our day in terms of our position. Are we sitting or are we moving or how are we moving on how we walk, how we run and how we stand. So what I see a lot of when I'm working as a sports massage therapist, particularly with a team of wonderful uh, local physios, is that the time we spend sitting down is having quite an impact on our body shape and our posture when we stand, walk and run. So when we're sat down, we have flexion at the hips. So this angle here at the hips, tighter muscles here, perhaps weaker muscles at the front. We also, if we're driving or at a computer, tend to have head forwards, arm forwards, driving the shoulders forwards which isn't ideal because when we walk, particularly when we run, that movement is all about how much we can drive those arms and legs backwards. So almost the opposite of when we're sat like this all day. So what does ideal posture look like? So ideally, we'd want a straight line between the centre side on point on our knee joint, our hip joint, our shoulder joint and our ear. So everything is really nicely stacked on top of each other. That's the key. We want our skeleton to be taking our weight. That deloads the muscles and it means our body's moving the way it's designed to. A couple of postural tendencies I often see, and I'll just move my arm out of the way, uh, with tight hip flexors, people can end up arching their lower back too much, sticking their bums out, and that can lead to some lower back pain. Also not great when we're moving like that and using our lower back instead of our leg to take our leg backwards when we're walking and running. The other one I often see is weak hip flexors having, and, and also a whole kind of postural sequence with our shoulders as well, having effect where our hips go forwards, our shoulders go back, and our head goes forwards. So instead of that being in a nice tall straight line, we end up being in a bit of a zigzag, and this overloads the muscles because then it's not our skeleton dealing with the majority of our weight as we are nice and upright, our muscles have to start, for example, the muscles of the neck the shoulders um, and the upper back have to start taking the load of the head. And the head is a very, very heavy thing. So let me just talk through a few little tips that I work on on my posture in standing. So once you've got it nailed in standing, a lot easier to get it sorted for our walking and our running. So thinking about a little bounce in our knees, not completely knocking the knees out because that can lead us to overarching our lower back. Little bounce in our knees when we're standing. We want to switch on our bum muscles, so squeeze our bum muscles just a little bit. We want to switch on our abdominal muscles, pull our tummy bun just slightly, subtly, back towards our spine. And that will help us to, help us to stop doing that, arching our backs and flaring our ribcage up and sticking our chest out, sticking our bums out. So we want to just engage these muscles to get us back into alignment again at the front. With our shoulder blades, we want to think about drawing our shoulder blades towards each other and down behind us. Because when we've got our shoulders up and forwards around our ears, our shoulder blades actually lift and splay out around the side of our ribcage. So we want to pull them together and back down behind us. So to get those shoulders nicely in position. And then finally, we want to lift our gaze up to the horizon and tuck our chin back a little bit. So hopefully you can see there side on a fairly good posture from I'm hoping. <laughs> so slight bend in the knees, squeeze of the bum, engagement of that tummy, pulling the tummy button back towards you, shoulder blades just towards each other and down our rib cage, lifting the eyes, chin tucked back. So hopefully that's helpful. Uh, let me know any questions about your sort of posture and how you're finding that and, and how you think uh, you might be moving. It's always useful to just look in the mirror occasionally when you're standing or when you're out walking and running. Shop windows are great for just glancing at to see if you really are standing up as tall and moving in the way that you think you are. Or your shadows, particularly at the beginning and the end of the day when your shadows are, are longer. Um, seeing those on the ground, a good reflection back on how we're moving as well. I hope that's helpful.